Oh, hi guys. God's Woodsman here for you today. And I had a question on the channel, what I use for toothpaste. Because if you haven't seen my, what do you do when you forget your toothbrush? Tooth, ah, toothbrush, can't talk. Well, what do you use for your toothpaste? If you're back in here, you forgot your toothbrush and your toothpaste, what's something you could use for toothpaste that's been used for thousands of years? Coming up, hope you guys stay with me. Hey, you guys are back. So right now I'm just going ahead and making my toothbrush. And you guys saw in one of the other videos on how to make your own toothbrush. Well, what do you do when you have a toothbrush that you've made? Even if it is an absolute perfect one. I always get little bits of wood fiber in my mouth when I'm making this part. Okay. So. I've done made my toothbrush, which you guys have seen before. You take it like this. But what can you do to add to this to make it even better? Well, believe it or not, charcoal. Charcoal has been used for thousands of years as toothpaste. And as much as I know all of you guys are gonna enjoy this, I'm gonna do it. I've used it before for an upset stomach which I'll show you guys in another video, but you just mush it up between your fingers and get it so it's nice, you know, as much of a fine powder as you can. And you're gonna just take it, stick it right on your teeth, on your pearly whites. I'm not sure this is a good idea. So, once you get it all applied, you can stick some on the end of your toothbrush. And your finger works pretty good for this case. I know, you all guys are all gonna be jealous of you know, nice shiny teeth. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous until you come out and try it. Okay, once you get it all nice and brushed, it's gonna go over to the creek and rinse. All right, guys, there you go. Bright, shiny teeth. Now, I don't want you guys to all be jealous of my teeth. So thank you so much for watching, and you guys have a great day.